Hello there, this is DBT, and this are the rooms. And alright, it's finally time to finish this gauntlet season. If you don't remember, earlier this week I actually began the season with the new lineup, specifically using the Faraday Future, which obviously is the card that you guys voted for me to pro uh, with the ultimate upgrade. Now it's time to finish that same season. Now to be completely transparent about it, for the rest of the season, I mean, I made that video where I actually set up a relatively decent um, defense time. And guys, by the way, thanks for the suggestions on how to improve it. Unfortunately, I did not go, I did not try it again. But yeah, I learned that apparently the Faradite isn't as good for acceleration as it is for recovery. So I'll keep that in mind. But yeah, other than that, you can see that I've continued to do more races, but I barely won any. And that is because, again, I was running on boosted. So at this point, I'm still in a decent uh, position, 230. The rewards here wouldn't be amazing, but at least I would still get something, right? How much would I get? Where am I? Where am I? I'm over here. 80,000. I mean, it's still not fantastic. To be completely honest, I think the, the where I normally land is somewhere around here. And this is where I feel comfortable with the reward. So let's see if we can manage there. Uh, we have some tickets to spend. So let's go and find some people to challenge and begin this process of the gauntlet. Uh, my current lineup, again, keeping in mind that apparently the Faraday isn't as good for acceleration. I'm going for the CN first, then Connex Jesco just because I love that thing and it's good for top speed. Faraday in the middle because I'm still going to get to use this car a bunch. Then Centenario and I'll end up with the Lycan Hypersport, the HE. So let's try this up. Uh, my opponent has a Chento the HE, so his acceleration is going to be better than mine. But I don't know. Let's see what we can do. I'm going to skip all of the loading and just go straight into the races. How about that? Now, remember that the way I do this, uh, whether it's for multiplayer, in this case for Gauntlet, I don't really um, show you races cherry-picked. I picked which tracks I want to race in or at. But I show you the wins, I show you all of the L's, and, you know, we'll see what, what, what I can do. All right, I don't know why I moved to the side. I was playing a little bit of multiplayer before I started recording this because I needed to warm up a little bit into the game. Because starting this up cold, especially in Gauntlet, is not a great idea, so I guess my muscle memory of moving to the side right at, right at the start kind of kicked in. Decent start, but... Ah, oh, no, I missed all the nitro bottles. All right, at least the Jesco can do okay without nitro. A little bit. So look at that, 497 without any nitro, so I get to save a tiny bit. And by the time I get to the next car, I have a little more to work with. And that is my Faraday. Yes, I pronounce it Faraday. Not Faraday, Faraday. Those electric cars must die. Ah, oh, no, I touched the wall. We're fine. This thing drifts so sharp, so sharp, that it's so easy for me to hit the inside of the of the turns. But all right, the first ride was, I mean, the first race wasn't extremely difficult. You can see that I have quite a bit of a lead against my opponent. So that's all right, that's all right. Good start, I would say. Now, prepare to see a bunch of L's in a row, but it's fine. Okay, so uh, he was running with the Cento Diecha, Batista, Centenario, Arash, and Aguera RS. All right, there we go, first W. Let's go. All right, there's my first race reward. We're in pos position 230. Let's see how much we can climb up before we start finding opponents that are really, really going to start giving me headaches. I could do Nevada. I feel a bit more comfortable now in Nevada than I did six months ago. That's not to say that I'm great at it, obviously, but all right. Let's try the Nevada. Um, running with the Centenario, Faraday, Faraday, the Vel 16, and Ultima. Okay, this will be a tough one, but let's see what we can do. I used to be sort of, not scared, maybe scared, about doing races in Nevada, mostly because um, it, it is, you know, I've said it before, but this is such an old track that I feel like old school players really know the ins and outs of this track perfectly. While me being a newer player, I don't know this map. I mean, I know this map, but I don't know every single speed trick or anything. I don't know how to do the, the best turns. And, ah! I mean, totally intended. I was doing it for the speed. Uh, I don't know how to do the perfect turns and all of that. So, ooh, look at that. He's going for the jumps. Damn. See? See? I didn't know that was a good idea. And that's going to cost me my race. That's fine. That's fine. But yeah, I, I, I don't, I'm not like... Oh, wait a second. We have some jumps here. Can the recovery help here help me a little bit? I don't know. Can it? No, I don't think I'll catch up to this guy. Hold up. Hold up. Can I? Can I? Mess it up? No. He, he's good. He's good. All right. Fair enough. That's a nail. Honestly, I've been finding surprisingly difficult opponents. I think... 
after I did my initial races and what I recorded and all of that, I did try a bit more um, playing proper, but I did find that I was facing some considerably difficult opponents. So I don't know. Like I said, normally I am comfortable getting to position about 100 or so, but right now I'm like position 200 and I'm already suffering. Look at that. 219. Wait. How did I climb if I lost points? I don't understand game. Okay. Okay, we got Barcelona reverse, starting with the Batista. You know what? I feel brave. Let's try Barcelona reverse. No, wait a second. First, let's... Oh, Jesus Christ. Let's check what, el what else is out there for me to try. We got... No, thank you. We got London. We got another reverse, starting with the La Voiture Noir. Interesting. Batista, Reguera, Sheeran... And Clift of Run. Alright, I think I'm gonna go against this person. The Batista accelerates hard, but let's see if we can make up for it. Okay, here we go. So, yeah, I don't know. Let's hope that I at least manage to get my position 100 or a little under 100. So that I get some decent rewards. But if not, in the end, honestly... Oh, hello. Wait, what car? Batista? Did I out-accelerate the Batista? How? Isn't the Batista a great accelerator, or am I thinking of this wrong? I know, some people keep on telling me that the Batista is a great car. I'm not saying that it isn't, okay? I honestly don't know, because I don't drive it. I, I have it, but I haven't upgraded it. But not I'm not super interested on it. But anyway, um, I thought that it was a great accelerator, but somehow my CN out-accelerated it. Or maybe the guy that I'm that said this defense slap um, didn't start triple tap quick enough or something and that's why I out accelerated it because it just seems a bit weird that I was able to do that Is it is it officially considered or officially accepted that the best acceleration Lamborghini is the CN because I thought it, it was a Centenario But people say nowadays that it's the CN so hey, I, I know that Centenario accelerates good. That's what I, I at least do know So by the way, okay, hold on um yeah, all right. Um, I did say that I was going to be changing the team in Gauntlet a bit more. This particular week, I didn't change it for this video and all of that, only including the the Faraday, because that is in general the idea for that video. I did say that going for the for the pass and getting the ultimate upgrades, it was going to be for me to upgrade a car that you guys wanted to see. And that's why I've been doing some content on the Faraday. But after this, probably for next week, I will do um, a completely different team or very different team for Gauntlet so that we see more variety. Right now, I'm just trying to put my quote unquote skills and my current team to the limit. All right, starting with the Shiron 300 Plus, that's not going to work. It's actually going all with all 1862 cars. Look at that. 62, 62, 62, 62, 62. All right. I don't think I can beat that person. That's the same. Um... Iceland? No, I don't like it. Well, we could do Iceland, maybe. We got Nevada. And we got Azurgos. Alright, I'm torn between... Started with the Batista, Divo, Chiron, Koenigsegg, and Mercedes. You know what? Let's try something strange. Let's try this. It's reverse, so... Yeah, let's try it like that. I don't know if this will work or not. But I feel like I, I wanted to put the Yesco somewhere latest. Because that is when you start running out of Nitro in this track. So let's see if that happens to help me a little bit to save some Nitro. And that is what I keep, why I keep saying that the ultimate cars in 1860, like obviously the Kings, but also the Arash, have that tiny little advantage of having such crazy base top speed that you can just run it and you're still going to get a, without boost, I mean without a Nitro, you're still going to get a really damn high top speed. I'm going to try one flat spin over here just because in the end I still need Nitro at some point. Start looks good so far. Didn't want to touch that wall, but it's okay. Oh, please don't flip it. Please. Oh, Jesus Christ, I hate that. We're fine. We're fine. And yeah, I'm perfect nitroing this thing all day, every day. Because, man. Oh, no. The third place is where I should have put the, the Yesco. Yeah, right here. Because this is the part where I'm really starting to suffer. But even then... My opponent did considerably worse, so... I'm in the clear, unless I really, really F it up. Yes, go power, bye bye. So see, I can go with single Nitro, and I'm going at 502. And considering that I do have a bit of a lead, I'm okay with going at 504, actually. Nice. And, and like I was saying, that is something else that the... 
Oh boy. Oh boy. I thought I was going to mess it up. That the Arashas Flight 10 can do. Run it. Your triple boost that run it with single nitro, you're still going to go damn, damn fast. I tell you. That is, I think, one of the most over. One of the biggest oversights when people think about that car. It's like, yeah, you haven't considered this? Or maybe you have, but you don't notice the power. All right. So we beat the Batista Divo Chiron. 1-1 one, one, and Silver Lightning. All right, cool, cool. I wasn't sure I was going to make it on this one, but we're fine. All right, there's my next reward. Fantastic. We're in position 142, so this is indeed where the, the, the challenges are going to really start to pile up. So I really need to be careful as to which track do I pick here. And also make sure that my opponent isn't starting with a Shiron 300 Plus like this. Though, Ultimate Match and Denario. You know what? I might be willing to try that one. Might be willing to try that one. Because from these races, I think this is the one that I'm the most comfortable with. And... I don't know. I'm just going to put them like that. I don't know if it really works or not. So let's try it out. Now, if you're enjoying this video, why don't you hit the like button, please? It helps me. It helps the channel. It helps everybody. It's free. So please do it. I know this guy's going to out-accelerate me right away. But I want to see by any chance I can catch up during the rest of the race. I want to believe that maybe he makes a couple of mistakes and that'll give me an opportunity. Or... Alternatively, I'm going to be the one making the massive mistakes and I'm never going to catch up and whatnot. So yeah, unsurprisingly, it's not accelerated, but let's see. Oh, see what I was saying about the mistakes? And see what I was saying at some other, in some other video that people sometimes do bad laps and they still get a pretty considerable uh, position in the leaderboard because people don't want to challenge them. Like, I could have gotten intimidated by the fact that it started with a 300 plus and it had a pretty good lineup, right? But I still wanted to challenge it. And that's what I say. Just believe in yourself, people. Oh, God. We're fine. We're fine. Would you look at that? We're going to win it and by quite the margin at that. Oh, yeah, baby. So yeah, I've noticed that not so much in this, in Terra 9, I noticed this same issue much more in orbital loop tracks, where there's a bunch of people who set up bad times, but they still have pretty high results because nobody likes to challenge him, because nobody likes that track. So there we go. In spite of the out acceleration, we managed to get it. Very nice, very nice. That means we're in position, what, like 110? All right, there's my final official reward for this. Oh, I... I was too hopeful. 110, one more like 141. But come on, we can still climb up a little bit, I hope. Uh, Secret Lab, maybe we can do that. Starts with the Cento Dieci, Dragon Tree with Devo. Uh, we got Barcelona with Cento. We can try that one. Barcelona, I feel like I can do Barcelona, not China, thank you. And London Eye. Okay, we're, let's try this one. It's a starting with the Cento so we should have similar acceleration. Oh boy! Oh boy, it goes for a 300 plus, absolute. Why did it not start with the 300 plus? Oh, maybe because of the first couple turns. Well, you know what? We're gonna flip the coin. We're gonna believe in ourselves and see what we get. If you hit the like button, I'm pretty sure I'm gonna win this race. And if you haven't hit the like button, you should be doing that right now to bring me good luck. So go ahead, do it. I'm waiting for you. Did you do it yet? You better have. Let's do this. Come on. See, the acceleration is very, very similar, isn't it? Oh, no, 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 he did the turn so much better already. All right, I'm done. <laughs> it's because you didn't hit the like button, okay? That's why. Come on, Jess, go. Well, I am a little faster than the 300 plus, but I'm not sure that that's gonna count for much. I'm still pretty close. Come on. Come on, Farid, Faraday. No! No, I messed it up! No! Rip! Rip my... Oh, I messed... Faraday, why do you have to drift so good? I messed up the... Oh, man. I hate this... I'm okay. I'm okay. I totally wanted to have this car in my lineup. Man, I... Uh, uh, fine. I'll take the L. I'll take the L. I'm totally not gonna blame it on the... Faraday. Jesus Christ. Christ. I had it. I almost had it. I think I could have had it. I'm I'm certain I maybe had a chance to have it. It was a 50-50. I had 25% chance to win, alright? And we lost it because of the fair today. I hate that car. 
I don't really hate it, but come on. The opportunity was there, and we let it go. It is gone now, and I feel disappointed, son. I am disappointed, son. Okay, don't like any of this particular... Ooh, Satellite Rush. Satellite Rush, which version is that? Starting with it. All right, I'm gonna try it. Like I said, I normally don't... Ooh, boosters. I normally don't shy away from doing races in the orbital loop. Even if my opponent is starting with a 300 plus, I'm still gonna go like, you know what? I'm gonna challenge it. And my boosters barely wanna work, come on. So let's see. Let's see if my if my self-belief, self-confidence on my performance in orbital loop is gonna pay off, or am I gonna end up cursing halfway through the race because something goes terribly wrong because I dropped wrong? Probably. Now, I recently was asking the boys if it really is considered that the lower route is better than this route that I normally go for. And someone was saying that the lower route is harder, but I actually find this one harder because that little part, if you mess it up, if you take that little jump down wrong, you're absolutely gonna hit the, the side of the wall, I mean the side of the tunnel. So that's why I consider it to be honestly harder, but apparently that is not the general consensus. No! Oh, Jesus, I didn't want to do that. It's fine. It's fine. We're okay. We're okay. Totally wanted the Nitro. That's all. Gonna perfect Nitro this thing, because it does seem that the that the Nitro on the third day, it's a little bit iffy. Not straight up terrible, but you know. No! You mother... F what did I say? What did I say? That's twice that the stupid third eye messes me up. Twice. I hate that car. God damn it! This is what you made me do, guys. I hate you. No, I'm, I'm just kidding. I don't hate you, but man, that's legit. That's the second time that. I can only take so much, guys. I can only take so much. <laughs> I don't know. That's another 15 points lost. Yep. Okay. Hurry up. We still have a little bit. I'm recording this literally at the very, very, very end of the season. Legit. Like, the season is about to end in under 10 minutes or so. So, or somewhere around that time. So, I really need to get something going. I'm, oh, I'm back in 141. I still have some tickets. So, we can still pull this off. But, man, Fair Die, I hate you. That's all I can say. You know what you should do, Faraday? You should Faraday die. Get it? Die. All right, Chantanet. This is the same guy that I faced before, isn't it? Is it? I'm not even sure. I think so. Um, <laughs> You. Good name. You. I'm going to face you. Uh, can I say one, one? All right, let's do it. Let's do it. Come on. We still have time. We can do it. My only goal today is just to end it somewhere under 100. You know, position 100. And by under, I mean over... How does that work? It's a leaderboard, so it's over 100, but that means that it's a num number smaller than 100. I don't know what, but you know what I'm saying. All right, let's see, come on. I love this track. The guy know how to, how to drive it. Look at that, right away he passed me like that. Well, rep my race then. No, don't be negative, TBT. Don't be negative, baby. believe in yourself. Is that an Arashas flight tent that he's driving? I think so. Catching up. Come on. Come on. This is focus mode DBT. I tell ya. All right, I'm not super sure how to do this with the Chentenario. Oh my God, what the, what the heckaroo was that? Is the H-E-L-L -L word allowed on YouTube? I'm not even sure. Um, what was that? So it was true, the stories about the physics issues of the, cent the Chentenario, huh? It don't matter, we still want it. That should put us back to position like 120 something, I think. Yeah, I think that, that should be okay. Come on. Come on, I have limited time. All right, where is that putting us? 117. All right, so if I get two more Ws, 
I think I should be more than safe to end up in position over under 100. You know what I mean? Uh, Cento Dieci, we could do that maybe. Oh, this is the same person that I. Is this this is revenge time? It's revenge time. It's time for revenge. This is the moment when we have to focus. You may not hear me say a whole lot for this race because I want to get a good result. Because this could be the one that bring brings us under 100 slash over 100. You know what I mean? Let's go. Look at that. It does look like the Centenario. I mean, the Cyan Accelerator is faster, but then the Faraday instantly catches up. Okay, here we go. Don't mess this up. Go straight. That's good. Don't mess this up, DBT. Nice. So far, so good. I would imagine that an A. No, no, no. Jesus. What is happening with my. No! Okay, hold on, hold on. I was gonna say that I imagine that an alien watching me play is like, Jesus, is making such a big deal out of these bad races. I'm sorry, Mr. Alien. But I not be a great player, so. I live with my average player struggles, alright? Some of the boys are really skilled, so if you're. Hey, boys, if you're watching me and thinking like, Jesus Christ, if you could drive a little better, I can't, okay? I can't. Don't judge me. Revenge is mine. Yeah, baby. I mean, <clears throat> GG. Okay, I think they should have put us under slash over 100, right? Come on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on, come on, come on. All right, where are we? Where are we? Come on, come on. 116, what? Did it not register? What? How? Okay, we still have to keep going. Gotta keep going, I'm almost out of time! Game react! I already clicked it! Jesus Christ, okay, here we go. Centenario, Metal Garden, maybe I can do that. Uh, Dragon Tree, no thank you. Uh, Highland View, no thank you. Uh, Nevada, Cento Dieci, not super sure about that. London Eye with a 300 plus. Okay, I think this is our best option, so we're gonna go for it. Come on, come on. Self-belief, people! All I want in life is to be in position 99 or 98, 97 maybe. I could even deal with 96. 95 would be good. 94 would be a little better. 90, okay. You get my point. Focus. Get out of the way, you don't, let me see. Oh Jesus, I did that wrong. Oh, he did it so much better than I did. Jesus. Okay, this is it. This is it, guys. It's a nail. It's a nail. Pray for DBT that my opponent crashes or something. Seems unlikely, though. Yeah, he did that turn so much better. So, so much better. Oh, God, oh, God, oh, God. My god! Oh, it's cat! The car's cat on me! Oh, you stupid f***ing Faraday! It's cat! F***! That's three races! Three races that the Faraday messes me up! Three! Three! God, I hate that car! Jesus Christ! I hope you have enjoyed so far seeing the ferret die in my in my lineup because you will never see it again. Jesus, this car is just absolutely atrocious. I, look at that. Actually, so I was probably under position 100. Four minutes. Come on. Come on. Come on. Give me one race that I can win. Give me one race. One race. Come on. Come on. Come on. No. Uh, no. Uh, yeah. Yes, I'm going for it. I don't care. Let's go. Let's go. Come on. I need that W. One single W should be enough to put me again. So, if I hadn't done this previous race, I think I would have stayed in under 100. It's just that the, the, the leaderboard didn't update for some reason. But now, after I lost 15 points from that race, I am position 105. So, what, what's the matter with you, game? Jesus, do your math right. All right. Hold on. This is focus time. Because this is the one. This is the last race. I either make it or break it right here. So, shutting up right now.
That was kind of bad. Yeah, I'm thinking it's safe with this thing. I don't want to do too sharp of a drift and do something dumb. Oh, we're back. Okay, is this the same race where the Centenario did a weird thing? Don't mess me up, Centenario. I love you. I've never talked bad about you, okay? Ever. I've always loved you. Good job, Centenario. Good job. I think we got it, boys. I think we got it. Ladies and gentlemen, we got it! Woo! <coughs> I mean, <laughs> nice. Woo! Okay, just in time. That gives us 30 points. Even if the scoreboard doesn't quite update right now, it should still be under a slash over the position 100. <sighs> Victory. Victory. <laughs> oh, yeah, position 70. How much would I get? I mean, probably still going to lose a couple of positions uh, once it finishes doing calculation for other people that are doing. But if I stay there, 160 and 340, that's still pretty good. But even if I fall down to this, it's still not bad. I just lose 1,000. Um, 10, 10, <laughs> 10, 10, and then I lose 40, I mean, 20 points of this. So it's not terrible. And is that it? Is the season over? Two minutes. That's good enough. That's good enough. I'll try to update you uh, on the comments to let you know what was the final position that I got. But that is going to do it for this video. Guys, you know what to do. If you enjoyed this video, hit the like button. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't. You know all of that good stuff. Again, this was the last time that you were going to see the ferret eye in my team. I don't know. Maybe I'll use it at some other point. But I, I like I promised I was going to do a bunch of content with this card that you voted for me to pro. And here we are. So that's all check these videos out once when i upgraded the ferret eye after the vote this other video where i did multiplayer with it so check it all out but that's it thank you for watching and i'll see you in the next one take care everybody and stay safe mm, bye bye